Glory to God, everybody. Hallelujah. Thankful to be in Hallelujah. Again, in the house of God, one more time. Anybody else thankful? Yes. Yes. Amen. Glory today. Hallelujah. And so we're going to let this phrases rise in this place. So I'm going to ask that you entertain us and invite. We invite you to stand on your feet and entertain the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because that's who we came to entertain today. Hallelujah. An audience of one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. By his nail-pierced hands, we're free. Hallelujah. By his blood, we're washed clean. And now we have what? The victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's enough to praise him right there. Hallelujah.
serve a great God. How great is our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Let's clap for him one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Such an awesome job. Thank you, Such an awesome job of worship. Thank you, Giving God the glory. Hallelujah. Giving God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You'd be amazed that if I could just get a few of you just to lift your hands Amen. and worship. Yes. And how you would feel the power of God moving. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know that sometimes, oh, amen, you don't want to lift your hand because of what you're going through. Oh, hallelujah. But you lift your hand in spite of what you're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is worthy yes, he is. of all honor and glory. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And then when we worship God, glory be to God. Our mind is on the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to have to get into a place where it's just you and God. Yes, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Worship Amen. Him. Amen. Amen. I'm sitting over there thinking as I'm worshiping God how good God has been. Yes, Pastor. Amen. And I'm thinking about, amen, what God is doing. Yes, He's God. been doing since, amen, day one. Yes. <laughs> When we had our praise team, I'm telling you, God is really blessing us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Two months. Really Two months. He really, he really uh, and that's why uh, from the first time, uh, some of y'all knew by the look on your face, and some of y'all were like, what? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but uh, you've got to let people yes. amen, get comfortable. Yes, yes man. Worshiping God, amen, yes. it's just a relationship thing. Oh, that's good. Amen. Now your faces don't bother them anymore. Amen. Right? Talk about it. They Talk about it. About it because they realize that it ain't about you, it's about him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so then you become free to be able to worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Now they've got it. I just need a few of y'all in the pews to get you. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. One of the things, amen, that uh, I love about God is that no matter what I'm going through, or no matter what I'm against, amen, no matter what I've done or thought, I refuse to allow the enemy to steal my worship. Amen. 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 And uh, you say a lot about a congregation, amen, <clears throat> when you look over them at them, and I watch people worship. I watch. And I watch because I see who's afraid to lift their hands. Or who's ashamed to lift their hand. Jesus. And with that, it tells a lot about your relationship with the Lord. Amen. Because I wouldn't care what I did or what I've been up against. When I come to the house of God, it's all about giving them glory. Amen. Here's what the Bible says. There is now, therefore, no condemnation <laughs> to them that are in Christ Jesus. Who walk according to the Spirit and not to the flesh. And so, I don't have any condemnation. No. Amen. When I come to church, I lift my hands in Amen. But I want them to know how great of a job they're doing. Oh my and I want to encourage them. Amen. Amen. The Bible says one should take a thousand. Yes. Two should put 10,000 in front. Amen. Amen. And so, we've got two that are baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Two that have the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And so you imagine when the other two get the full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Y'all not going to be able to stand. <laughs> I'm waiting to get to the place, if y'all will worship with me, yes. that I can say there's no need for the preaching. God has already yes. taken down the business. Jesus. And it's time to go home. See, I see that in the future. Amen. Yes. Amen. In order for that to happen, you're going to have to participate. Yes. You're going to have to get in with a relationship with the Lord. Amen. Now, some of y'all are probably happy because you said, oh, he ain't going to preach. And so we're going to go home. We can go home early. <laughs> I said, it's coming a day. <laughs> Make it plain, Pastor. <laughs> But today is not one of them days. <laughs> not one of them days. Amen. So, amen. The Lord is awesome. And uh, I love being in the presence of God. Amen, Pastor. Yeah. I don't take it lightly. I'm so uh, 
I want to say to uh, Sister Tanika and to Sister Amanda, I'm so proud of you. Yes, you can, that are making this step Amen. towards turning towards the Lord and serving the living God Amen. through water baptism in Jesus' name. And I know <clears throat> that this part has not been easy because the devil will fight you every step of the way. Oh, yes. oh he will. <laughs> He's a liar. He'll lie to you. He is a liar and a liar. And he'll bring things your way to try to discourage you. Right, Pastor. But that discouragement is affirmation that yeah. you're on the right track. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I want to talk about something, Amen, that is um, for real for me and for real for some of you. I'm looking around and I see that some of you have probably will understand what I'm talking about and some of you won't. But I'll, uh, with the help of the Lord, we'll give you an understanding. It's a common term, amen, but you'll understand it in a little bit. So I want, the Lord woke me up and gave me the scripture. And I want you to know, amen, that no matter how hard it would seem to be or how tough life would seem to be, there's one that is greater. Yes. And he's not only greater, he's able, able. to take us through That's right. till the end. Till the end. I know sometimes we look at situations and circumstances and we think that man and his frailty. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know how this is going to happen. But you can do all things through Christ. All things. Yeah. Yeah. That strengthens you. Yeah. And so with man, some things are impossible. Yeah. But with God, all things. Oh. That was going to come now and preach. She said, all. <laughs> all things are possible. Amen. You've not come to the end of yourself. That's right. You've come to the beginning of a God Amen, who pastor. does not fail. Amen. I want you to know that. Preach it, Pastor. If you have your uh, Bibles, I want you, I have two scriptures I want to read for you, and I want you to stand for the reading of God's word. In the book of 1 Peter, <clears throat> the book of 1 Peter, Chapter 5. I want to read verses 8 and 9. And then uh, in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, chapter 2, I'll read verses 10 and 11. So the first scripture is in the book of um, 1 Peter. And then we make it a habit, and uh, I think my wife has some Bibles in the car, but when you come to church, when you, come to your Bible, when you come to church, have your Bible. Because you don't just want to believe what the preachers say. You want to be able to read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. And uh, I've been to churches where nobody has a Bible. So they don't know what the preachers say. Yes, sir. They just believe in anything. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8 and verse 9. Be sober, be vigilant, yes. because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, That's right. walketh about, uh -huh. seeking whom he may devour, yes. whom resist steadfast in the faith, uh -huh. knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren yes. that are in the world. Amen. 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 And in conjunction with that scripture in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 and 11 Amen. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 yeah. verse 10 to whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything to whom I forgave it, for your sake forgive I it in the person of Christ. Yes. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen. 
I want to pray, amen, and then you can be seated in the presence of the Lord, amen. Eternal Father, I thank you for who you are. I thank you, Lord, for your power. I thank you, Lord, for your presence. I thank you, Lord, for the anointing that's upon my life and upon this ministry. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, for enabling us to be a part, God, of your kingdom. I pray, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, that you might touch this vessel of clay one more time. For without you, I can do nothing. Hey, God, I need you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that I might speak as an oracle of God. Hallelujah. Hey, God, that your word might go forth. Hey, God, that it might land on good soil and bring forth God an increase in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, by the power and the authority of God, I take authority right now over every unclean spirit, every principality of darkness and wickedness, every high thing that will try to hinder me from hearing from you. And God, I pray, God, that your word might fall on good soil, touch the lives of the people. I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, God, that signs and wonders manifestations of the Holy Ghost yes, be evident in our service here on today. Somebody needs confirmation. Somebody needs healing. Somebody needs deliverance. Somebody is waiting on you, God, for one word, for a breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we'll thank you even in advance. Not waiting until it comes, but we'll praise you by faith before it comes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I honor you, Lord. Quicken us once again. Hey, God, hover in the atmosphere. Let the anointing move in our hearts and in our minds. That you get the glory out of our lives. And Father, I praise you. I'll be very mindful to give you thanks. In Jesus Christ's holy name, I pray. Let the church say amen. amen. And amen. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. In the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And now, for about five seconds, let's give God an advance praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Right. Bolo, Bolo, B-O-L-O, -O, 
is a common term used by police. Be on the lookout. Oh, be on the lookout. Oh, wow. yeah. Be on the lookout. Wow. Be on the lookout. Caucasian male, about 76 years old. <laughs> wow, I never heard that one. Be on the lookout. Some of y'all don't know that. So when I say bolo, y'all are going to say, on the lookout. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Bro, Fred? Let's try to do this. <laughs> we missed you. Bolo. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was about 75% of y'all. Y'all said y'all were going to help me. <laughs> so, Bolo. Yeah. 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 I want y'all to hold that just like that. And every time I say Bolo, I want you to say Bolo. Yeah. 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 That was real good. Clap for yourself. And so when Peter writes and he talks about the devil and how he as a roaring lion yes. is seeking about whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. And so Peter gives a bolo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because Satan as a roaring lion is trying to devour somebody. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Paul uh, picks it up in 2 Corinthians. And Paul gives us a clue that Satan has devices. Mm -hmm. And so, the first one that he shows us is unforgiveness. Uh -huh. I want you to know that when you have unforgiveness, yes, then you can get ready for a bolo. Be on the lookout. Look the unforgiveness does. Yeah. That's good. Satan will get an advantage over you when you deal in unforgiveness. Yes. And a lot of people can't get to where they want to be because they have not learned to forgive. Amen. And so he teaches to the church at Corinth and he tells them, to whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgive I it in the person of Christ. Amen. Oftentimes people are, are, are stuck in paralyzing conditions. Because they're not learned to forgive. Yes. Forgiveness is not about you, the other person. Forgiveness is about you. Yes. Being free. The Bible declares and says that if you don't forgive, then your heavenly Father will not forgive you either. And so sometimes things happen in our life. Things are hurtful things. Things are. Are, are, are bad things and terrible things, but we have to learn as believers to let it go and to forgive. Yeah. Yeah. If forgiveness and easy things, sometimes not. No. But unforgiveness uh, will cause uh, Satan to come in and lock us in the past. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Lock us in the past. And some people hold on to things that happened years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And can't get any further in life because they've not learned to forgive and to let it go. That's good. Time. And so, with unforgiveness in your heart against anyone, but expecting God to forgive you is not going to happen. And so, Paul sends out a bolo. Yes, be on the lookout. on the lookout. Yes. Because Satan will get an advantage over us and God does not want us to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Amen. Amen. So one of Satan's devices is to get us, I'm not going to say you because some of y'all don't think I'm talking about you, but uh, uh, to get us to hold on to things from the past. Oh my and not to learn to let them go so and to forgive and to move on with your life. Amen. 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 Next chapter. So, Amen. God told me to put out a bolo on you. Be on the lookout. Yeah. 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 And the reason you can't get free mm -hmm. is because.
because you won't forgive somebody else. That's good, man. Come on, come on, come on. That's, that's good. I know that it hurt you. Yeah. I know that it shook you to the core. Yeah. But somewhere, you're going to have to ask God, God, help me to yeah. forgive yeah. those people. Yeah. 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 So that I can move forward in you. Yeah. Because your adversary, the devil, yeah. is singing them out as a roaring lion. Uh -huh. Look, mm -hmm. he in the Bible. You want to read? <laughs> you gotta be able to look out. Well, well, I, I I forgive him, but yet I don't want nothing to do with him. I forgive him, but I don't want I don't want to talk to him. I ain't ready yet. Come on, Pastor, that's good. I'm not ready yet. That's a good preacher. I can't forgive what they've done to me. Uh huh. So if you're expecting God to grant you forgiveness of your sins. Then you're gonna to have to let them go. Right. Amen. Amen. And so, and so, uh, Paul writes and gives us an a, a, a opportunity to look at a, a few of Satan's devices. Mm -hmm. and one of them is unforgiveness. Yes. When you got unforgiveness, you can be on the lookout. Yeah. Be on the lookout. When you have unforgiveness, you'll find bondage. Yes. Uh -huh. When you have unforgiveness, you'll find people who are just trying to figure out problems and try to start stuff. And, and they'll say, I, I don't like them, so I don't expect you to like them either. That was good, Pastor. That'll work. But as a believer, trying to get something from God, you're going to have to learn to be, I'm talking to somebody. Amen. 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 I'm talking to somebody. And, so, and God wants you to know that he hears your tears, he hears your cry, yeah. he sees your tears. But the reason you can't make it any further because you're not learning to let it go. Amen. Oh. And it is crippling your whole life. Yes. Jesus. You can't move you to the next level. It's affecting every part of your relationship. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And you don't see it. But God told me to send you a bull on this morning. Kevin, you like it, don't you? <laughs> Some of y'all looking at the back door for the police. <laughs> so you're going to have to learn to turn it over to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to have to learn to learn how to forgive people. Yes. Uh, the Lord told me that the spirit of you in here right now that it's holding on to your past. Jesus. Oh my. my God. Your past failures and your past mistakes. Oh my. Hallelujah, And God says, I want to bless you. Uh, I'm trying to bless you. I'm trying to make you the head and not the tail. Yes. I'm trying to let you know that I'm on your side. Yes, sir. But you're stuck in this unforgiveness. And I got to wake the man of God up at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, send out a bolo. Yeah. God is trying to help you. Amen. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Right. No. So he uses that to keep us immobilized so that we can't go any further for what the Lord has for us. There's a few other devices that the uh -huh. devil has. And he uses them upon the people. He's been using them for years. For years. Amen. Teresa say something out of this one. <laughs> Same devil, no new tricks. From the time of Genesis in the garden, I can go back and show you. Time's sake, I won't today. But he uses the lust of the flesh. Yes. The lust of the eye. Thank you, Jesus. And the pride of life. And he uses unforgiveness yes. to keep people bound in their past. Yes, sir, Pastor. The Lord woke me up. He 
Amen. And he gave you the scripture. I just want to read it to you. I want to dissect it. We're going to go to this baptism that we had. Amen. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 4. Uh, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. In the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 1. The Bible says and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Return uh, from Jordan. Jordan is where he got his baptism. Yes. It was in Jordan where uh, they saw uh, the Holy Ghost descend upon him in the likeness of a dove. It was not a dove that came on Jesus with the Holy Ghost. It was the way that it ascended upon him. Like you see a dove coming. That's why you see doves and they equate that with the Spirit. But the dove don't have nothing to do with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Yes. I want to talk to some of you who are experiencing wilderness situations. He was full of the Holy Ghost after his baptism, water and spirit. But the Spirit led him into the wilderness. Wow. Because now he's going to have to get a hold of his authority and power. Yeah. That's why a lot of us, amen, the Spirit leads us in the wilderness. You heard me say this before. There's two ways you wind up in the wilderness. One is that the Spirit of God leads you into the wilderness. Uh -huh. And the other is that the devil drives you there. What happened to the man at Gennesaret? He was driven into the wilderness. The Bible says that uh, he was there 40 days being tempted of the devil. Can you imagine for 40 days the devil messing with you? Some of y'all, the devil's been messing with all your life. Mm -hmm. For 40 days, he was tempted of the devil. And in those days, he did not eat nothing. But when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Yes. Mm. So after the devil was messing with him, he waited till he was finished. Because now he knows that he's hungry. Now he wants to appeal to his flesh. Lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye. And the pride of life. And so, when he goes to appeal to his flesh, the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God. Somebody, I want you to know, that here is a call for a bolo. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Yes. When you get baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Ghost come on you, be on the lookout. The devil is going to try to question your identity. Come on. Uh, that's a good place to shout right there. The first thing that happened to me when I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the devil said, uh, you didn't just speak in tongues. That's right, Pastor. And I spoke in tongues for a long time. A long time. Amen. And I said, devil, you're a liar. That's right. Amen, Pastor. I know I'm not crazy. I know I hurt myself. Yeah. That's why it's not good to let somebody know that you got the Holy Ghost. You better know for yourself. That's right. Amen. Anybody got the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. I want you to be on the lookout. He wants to attack you yes. to keep you from going further. Yeah, Jesus. Mm, glory. Jesus. If thou be the Son of God, uh -huh. command these stones that they be made bread. Yeah, if you are the Son of God, mm -hmm. take these stones. He wants to appeal to your flesh. He wants you to satisfy your flesh. But hear what Jesus told him. Jesus never mentioned to him 
that he was the son of God. He didn't have to prove that to him. Amen. Why? Because he knew who he was. Amen. And in serving God, you're going to have to know who you are. Amen. I wonder if I got some people to know who they are. Amen. You're going to have to know who you are. Good master. He says to him, Amen. Uh, Jesus answered and said, It is written. <laughs> That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. You're trying to make me go after something to satisfy my flesh. But Jesus said, I'm going to let you know it is written. That man shall not live just by bread to please his flesh. But by every word of God. In other words... You're going to have to know that you are a spiritual being in a natural body. Amen. What messes up a lot of people, a lot of people think that they're in a natural body with a spirit being on the inside. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. But you are a spiritual being in a natural body. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's why we walk in the spirit that we don't fulfill the desires of the flesh. I want you to know, amen, uh, amen. here's a bolo for you. We have a word, God. And you're going to have to know the word of God. Amen. To be able amen. to fight against amen. the powers of darkness. Yes, Master. Amen. Amen. That's what Jesus said. Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. He God in the flesh. And he's being tempted by the devil. But the devil didn't have any success. That's right. Hmm. Bible says, Jesus said unto him, verse 5, and then the devil takes him up uh -huh. into a high mountain yes. and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment in time. Mm. Uh, that's a good place for a bolo. When the devil starts showing you things, you better be on the lookout. Because he's trying to get you to lust with your eyes. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eye. We're not ignorant of his devices. So he takes Jesus up into a high mountain. And I read that, I said, I don't want that devil taking me nowhere. <laughs> I don't want to get on that rock. <laughs> but he will offer you things. Yes, sir. Well, he didn't take me up nowhere. But he had you to lust with your eyes. And he had you to look at this one thing. And what that one thing was, you wanted it. And when you wanted it, it caused you to work two jobs. Yes. And now, you're lusting after that very thing that won't allow you to get into the house of God. Oh, Somebody put out a bolo. Everything that looked good ain't good. That's right. Everything that looked good is not good for you. That's right. That's right. So you spend your time working and no time praying. Jesus. We're not ignorant of Satan's device. That's right. Amen. Let me go a little deeper here. I feel God in here. God, God wants to bring you out. That's right. Wants to bring me out. God wants to change the way, amen, that we look at things. Yes, sir. To be able to look at. He's warning us, amen, against the devices of the devil. Yes. Don't you know that the more, amen, that the devil, you allow the devil to talk to you, the more of a stronghold he'll build up in your mind? That's right. And everybody in here can probably say they heard the devil talk to him. Some of y'all, the devil talks to you more than God talks to you. Now that's a problem. If you're listening to his voice, the more than you're listening to the voice of God. That's the problem. And so, he says, uh, he takes him up in a high mountain. And he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment in time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For what is delivered unto me 
and to whomsoever I will give it. Mm -hmm. There's a good place for a bolo. When the devil offers you something that comes at a price, uh -huh. I want you to understand this. He says, I will give it to you if you will therefore worship me. All shall be thine. And so the devil wants our worship. And that's why he brings circumstances and situations so that he hoped that we will bow down and worship him. But the devil is a liar. Look what Jesus says. I want you to get this. Look what the Lord told me. Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. So now Satan places himself in front of the Lord. I want you to get this. Because he's trying to get the Lord to bow down and worship him. But the Lord tells Satan, Get behind me. In other words, get behind me and get in line. And get ready to worship the one and only true God. Because every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God. Get thee behind me. Jesus says to him, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone, only, shall thy servant. Uh, only worshiping him. Yeah. Don't you know that anything that you worship more than God becomes an idol? Yes, sir. I see people, they worship people. Yeah. They worship money. They worship their clothes. I know people that worship tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 They worship anything. Anything you pay more attention to than God becomes an idol. <coughs> And so Jesus tells Satan, you got to get me behind and get out of my way. Amen. Right? That's what you're going to have to tell the devil. Get out of my face. Amen. And get in, line get in line. And worship the one and only true God. Right. Amen. He alone shall I serve. Amen. Huh? He said, I will share my glory with no other. Right. Amen. Amen. I want God. Who wants God to get the glory? Amen. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's a good time for about a five-second praise unto the Lord. said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from his. <laughs> so now he's trying to get him to deal with pride. <laughs> pride of life. Uh, so we're not ignorant of his devices. Right. Trying to get him to use pride. Mm -hmm. uh, and Jesus said, uh, No, Satan says, For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time thy dash thy foot against a stone. And so Satan quotes a part of Psalm 91. A part of it. But he cut it off. <laughs> yes. Because the very next verse says, and he sh I shall travel over his head. That's right. He didn't want to quote that. Mm -hmm. So, here is a good place for a bolo. I want you to be on the lookout because the devil knows the word too. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he, does. Right. Yes, he, does. he knows the word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a shame that he knows the word more than yeah. some sense. Yes, sir. That's why you've got to get full of God's word. Amen, Pastor. Full of God's authority. Amen. And full of God's power. Yes. Right. Because your adversary, uh -huh. who's my adversary? The devil. your neighbor. <laughs> Your adversary is the devil. And that's why the devil don't want you to forgive. Because you'd have forgotten. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. But with principalities and powers. You'd have forgotten who your enemy is. The 
devil. Bible says, Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all of the temptations, he departed from yeah. him for a season. There's a good place for a bolo. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Yeah. Because he's coming back. That's right. Even when the devil tempts you and you get the victory, you can rest assured that he's coming back for yeah, something else. That's right, Pastor. Preach it. Preach it, Pastor. Preach it. The Bible says he left them only for a season. That's why you've got to be constantly seeking God. Seeking constantly. Amen. Constantly in the Word. Amen. Constantly worshiping God. Yes. Amen. Constantly in the presence of the God giving Him the glory. Amen. Constantly fasting and praying. Amen. Because He's coming back. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee and there went out a fame of him throughout all the regions around him. Amen. So Jesus goes into the wilderness full of the Holy Ghost. But he comes out under the power of the Spirit. Amen. Why? Because he had an opportunity to execute the authority of God through the word. Yes. The devil only understands the word Hallelujah. That's right. and the power of God. Yeah, yes. that's right. You got to have the authority Amen. and you must have the word. Amen. Amen, Pastor. So, because if you don't and you tell the devil get thee behind you, He's going to tell you, get thee behind me. It's the right. only thing that he understands is authority and power. That's why the Bible says in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall have power. But I want you to be on the lookout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because God <laughs> is taking us somewhere. And whenever God is taking you somewhere, yeah. you've got to be on your post. Yeah. And you must be on the lookout. Yeah. Because you have an adversary that's, right. that's trying to turn you around. Yeah. And God wants me to warn you to put out a bow yeah. 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 Now, the Lord began to tell me. You don't only have to be on the lookout for the devil. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus came out of the wilderness, he came out under the power of the Spirit. Oh, yes, he did. And some of y'all have been tempted by the devil mm -hmm. for a long time. Uh -huh. But God wants me to tell you to be on the lookout. Yes. Because the glory is getting ready to be revealed. Oh, yes. 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 He said, send out a bolo. Yeah. You've been through tests, trials, and tribulations. But be on the lookout. For God is getting ready to do a thing in the earth that every ear that hear it is going to tingle. Going to tingle. Uh, and he told me to put out a bowl of and tell the people to look up yes. for your redemption draws now. Yes. Yes. He's been in the wilderness. And the enemy's been tempting you yes. and testing you on every side. Yes. Yeah. Well, God says, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Mm -hmm. For my reward is with me. And I'm coming back to give every man according to the fruit of his doing. Yes. And when God brings you out of this wilderness season, mm -hmm. 
You're going to be full of the Spirit of God. And God has allowed you to go through this part of your life. And you can be on the lookout. Because as a result of your trials and tribulations, you're getting ready to see blind eyes open. The death is getting ready to rise. God says, follow signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. God's going to do it. 
tell somebody there's a bow with her name on it. Tell them be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. God is getting ready to do it. He brought him out of the wilderness and the power of the Spirit. And I know uh, that it looked bleak. But you just got to keep using the word. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. The devil messing with you and your finance. That's right. Let me give you some word. Uh -huh. uh, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. God can do it. This is our richest, this is better. He owned cattle a thousand years. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Oh, God. The silver is his, the gold is his. Everything belongs to God. Uh, the devil been messing with you way too long. And God told me to send out a bolo. Tell the person that's sitting next to you. Here, I want you to tell them. Send out, uh, tell them, say S O S. S O S. Scoot over some. Because I'm not waiting until my bolo comes. I'm getting ready to praise him for it even come to pass. Did somebody?
and learn to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. And you watch what the Lord will do in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.